Hello there. This is all about butterflies. Most of these photographs were taken in Key West, which is of course famous for many things, including Hemingway, the six-toed cats, the iguanas that you see here, and magnificently these zebra long-winged butterflies. Uh, it is well worth your while coming to see the Key West Butterfly and Nature Conservatory which I favor over the uh, Houston Cockrell Butterfly Center or even the uh, Calgary Zoo Butterfly uh, Exhibit, both of which I think were remarkable. I think my Scandinavian friends might particularly appreciate an opportunity to see uh, these wonderful little uh, insects as uh, there are not very many uh, in the northern latitudes. Further, uh, Key West uh, is uh, certainly laid back and uh, will compete with any of the uh, Scandinavian uh, hedonistic uh, practices. Uh, country club casual in Key West means you have clothes on, basically. The Key West Butterfly and Nature Conservatory, uh, in which I have no uh, special uh, pecuniary uh, interest other than that uh, as a tourist, uh, I have no financial uh, involvement at all. Uh, is nonetheless uh, amusing because uh, not only do they have butterflies there, but they also have uh, some ducks, birds, and uh, it's fun to hear the uh, mating calls of the uh, flamingos that you will hear later in this recording. The Key West Conservatory has a large collection of butterflies from both North America as well as uh, South America and Central America, particularly Costa Rica. Here you will see yellow cloudless sulfurs, morning cloak butterflies, monarch butterflies, the giant swallowtail butterflies. Something I uh, do want to mention is that the practice of releasing large numbers of butterflies uh, for weddings uh, uh, as a celebratory uh, practice uh, is frowned upon basically by uh, butterfly collectors as well as the uh, North American Butterfly Association. These uh, large clouds of butterflies uh, interfere with the migration patterns, bring disease to the native populations. Uh, so while it may be uh, interesting to raise butterflies uh, you know from the caterpillar stage through the chrysalis pupa stage uh, in a classroom uh, doing it with two or three specimens is one thing but to release clouds of butterflies at celebrations is not helpful to the environment later in this recording there will also be photographs of a private butterfly garden uh, this was a garden I was privileged to see in the uh, Blue Ridge Mountains of the Appalachians. The kinds of plants that are helpful to butterflies uh, include uh, the caterpillar uh, foods of milkweed, clover, alfalfa, and fennel. Also the flowering plants that uh, attract butterflies uh, include shasta daisies, lantanas, and zinnias. You will see examples of this uh, later on. As we go through this conservatory here in Key West, you will see blue morphos, which seem to be colonizing the place, as, uh, but very difficult to photograph. Uh, also the Hikali longwing, the uh, Owl butterfly, a tiger longwing, blue clippers, northern pearly eyes, and I'll try to uh, alert you to them as, as we come up on them. Also, you will see snapping turtles, of course, the flamingos, 
some koi fish, mandarin ducks. It's really a lovely place to spend some time in the winter away from the snows and ice of northern latitudes. So as we get ready to go from the interior of the conservatory here, you see caterpillars munching on some leaves uh, and uh, quite efficient in their dis destruction of the uh, plant leaves. Uh, and uh, in, in short order, we will be seeing and hearing also the uh, sounds of the uh, Key West Conservatory. I will mention that uh, butterflies are not to be eaten. They feed on poisonous plants and so are not uh, uh, good for human uh, digestion. The uh, one caterpillar that is popularly uh, eaten is the Mopani caterpillar or Mopani worm, which turns into an emperor moth. I've seen this uh, in Africa. Uh, you will not see that here in this particular recording but uh, they, I am told it tastes rather like uh, an overdone uh, steak. They are uh, a source of uh, protein uh, in the uh, African diet in uh, southern and central Africa. Here we are about to go outside. Just a reminder to be kind to all creatures, great and small. Remember. Coleridge's poem, uh, The Ancient Mariner, in that regard. Uh, and uh, as we walk out into the uh, enclosed uh, conservatory uh, building, you will suddenly be swarmed by these butterflies. And here you do see them. And what you see flitting around here are the uh, blue mor morphos. It's always been difficult to photograph butterflies because they don't stay still. <laughs> yeah, that's why video I think is better. That was a Sierra longwing butterfly on the canopy, which was seen uh, in both Mexico and the Amazon. I think that uh, looks like an American uh, white admiral. These butterflies, of course, will land on you, and uh, any part of your anatomy is game that way. Thank <laughs> you. 
What you hear in the background are the two flamingos here, Rhett and Scarlet. Rhett calling out with his mating calls and Scarlet uh, responding. Maybe a Hikali longwing that we just saw from Costa Rica. This, I think, is a tiger longwing from Costa Rica. Here's your mandarin duck. Very similar to the American wood duck. I saw a koi fish uh, not long ago that was taken by an osprey. So any of you who keep koi fish outdoors in a pond uh, and uh, are puzzled by what might have happened to one or two of them, uh, be aware that uh, your pets uh, can make a good meal uh, to protected birds such as the ospreys. Uh, that was here in Tennessee. Here you have the owl butterfly from Costa Rica. I think that's an adult owl butterfly over there with that big eye on it there. I think did one land on my vest here? Oh, on this side, I felt something on this side. Oh, that's a, that's a pretty one. Is that the green one you're talking about? Over by the uh, flamingos?
spread his wings and bow. What, the male duck? Yeah. They're called red and scarlet, like, you know, gone with the wind. Oh, red is that right? Scarlet, the hair. Yeah. Like the orange. This is the prettiest butterfly of them all. Nancy, turn around. <laughs> this was something I have not seen before. The flamingos were really quite entertaining, uh, kneeling down on uh, his knees here as Rhett. Uh, he might even offer a ring uh, were he so inclined. That was a blue clipper, I believe, that you saw just before we uh, switched to red and scarlet. That blue clipper is a Malaysian butterfly. Right. Yes, I, I got one of them off, uh, over here. I, I don't know. It's sleeping, so maybe it's a moth. I think that is the northern pearly eye that we're looking at here at 1739. Feeds on dung, carrion, and sap. Yeah. You see the problem photographers have yeah. trying to capture these yeah. beautiful little insects with their erratic bird there. flight oh, birds, bird. which of course are anti-predatory in nature. He's a pretty bird. I don't know, I don't know what, maybe a parrot? He's got a pretty face. Yeah, red eyes. Yeah. Yeah, that's eye eye shadow. It's it's big. Yeah. Look at his what do you call it? His um cone. I do. Well, you're free to take a picture. <laughs> That is a pearly eye on the bra there. And I recall to you that uh, they do feed on carrion. Not sure the lady knew that.
these, of course, are the snapping turtles found all over the uh, southern United States. Here's the butterfly garden that I was privileged to see. I think these were zinnias that were attracting most of these. Uh, you see the swarthy skipper, and then the black swallowtail, and an American lady. Well, the marigolds, uh, that there is a monarch. and the beautiful buckeye butterfly which are attracted to snapdragons. There was a cabbage white and a black swallowtail on some zinnias. So the lovely picture of a monarch. And a black swallowtail. That was a gulf fritillary that you saw, very colorful. That was taken uh, uh, at Hilton Head, South Carolina. And there is a skipper. There are various skippers. That was a long-tailed skipper. And finally, a Luna moth that I saw recorded on uh, my uh, garage door. American lady and the blue corporal dragonfly. Eastern Tiger Swallowtail. These were in Tennessee. And the Cabbage White. Seen in the uh, Smoky Mountains. The Brown Fertillery. Black Swallowtail. Eastern Tiger Swallowtail.